Monday, August 24th. You're listening to Weather with Enthusiasm. Thursday, August 24th, Thursday evening. Today was a phenomenal day. Both airports, the high was exactly 100 degrees. This is the first time in 11 years that the Chicago area saw temperatures triple digit. 100 degrees. We officially tied the record, which was set back in 1947. We didn't break the record. We tied the record, but it's considered uh, almost like we broke the record. That's how they do it, of 100 degrees. In addition, the humidity was mind-boggling. Dew points in the upper 70s this afternoon. Some areas had dew points in the low 80s. Again, the last time we had something like this was in the heat wave of July 1995. The heat index this afternoon once again went into the mid-120s over in the northwest portions of Indiana. The heat index went to 118 degrees at O'Hare, similar in Midway, went into the low 120s by Lake Geneva. We have a cold front coming through this evening. If there are no thunderstorms with this front, that is something spectacular. I don't know if forecasters are forecasting thunderstorms, and even if they are, there's not high confidence in it. That's something totally amazing. If there was no such thing as computer models, if there was no such thing as computer models, one would think that this is a case of thunderstorm, uh, explosive thunderstorm development, if there ever was one. The atmosphere is loaded with humidity and we have a front, and it's well known that around the heat dome, it's called the Ring of Fire, where there's continuous thunderstorm development. We are going to be right along that Ring of Fire. We even have earlier today, there's a low pressure system, as you can see on the map. Not even earlier, you could see it as of this morning. The low pressure system moves across the area, across Wisconsin to our east this evening. In fact, I believe that low pressure system is why there was no lake breeze today. Winds stayed out of the west, and we know, again, that when temperatures are higher than 95 degrees, the wind actually makes it feel hotter than what it actually is. Nonetheless, despite what it should be or could be, forecasters are saying, well, (laughs) with all the computer models, there is not high confidence in thunderstorm development this evening. There is, however, a a slight or marginal risk for severe weather, tells us the Storm Prediction Center in Oklahoma. So uh, that's something to keep an eye on. And then we have two cool air masses coming to us from Canada. The first one reaches its peak on Sunday and moves through sometime tomorrow. We remain humid tomorrow. And the second one moves through Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We start to warm up again by the end of the week. It is totally spectacular, I would say, that the heat, the very same heat that was over Corpus Christi, Texas in June, where all the talk of dew points in the 80s and triple-digit heat, that heat actually made it to the Chicago area. It took two months, probably on the date, exactly two months. We got in on the action on the final day of this heat before a Canadian cold front Some would call this the first fall air mass of the season. We almost did not make it, but we made it. Just a taste, a taste of what all these southern states have been going through for the past two months. This is what it felt like. Stay safe. Have a wonderful evening. I wish everybody a wonderful weekend. You've been listening to Weather with Enthusiasm.